Even in the 1960s, when China was so poor, China was already in Africa helping them build railways. Where was the West in the 60s? Or 70s, or 80s, or 90s, or where is the West now? They keep coming up with all these alternatives to the Belt and Road, but they haven't done it in history and they're not doing it now. A hundred years ago, the European nations divided Africa into little countries based on specific resources. They developed infrastructure to export everything from Africa, but they didn't develop Africa itself. The Western aid is used to bolster corrupt governments to keep the trade flowing, so it doesn't develop the countries. It doesn't get to the people. I show my students a, a map of Africa. You can put China, United States, and Europe inside Africa. It's that big. It's not only gigantic, richest in resources. Every resource you can imagine are incredibly rich. And yet, it's the poorest place on Earth. For a decade, the West has been saying, we can do better. We have a better plan. They're rich. But, but they don't do it. But China actually did it. Because Xi Jinping, like he's long said, just simple aid creates poverty of spirit. So this Belt and Road Initiative is also built out upon China's experience. Instead of just giving billions in aid, China's going to Africa and building the infrastructure. The way China developed so fast the past 30 years is China built a good infrastructure throughout the entire country. You know, even in the very remotest areas in Tibet, they use, do e-commerce, all these things. So China is using that experience from that. They're doing the same thing in other countries. China has helped so many countries with this. The Belt and Road Initiative, it's like my son in Africa doing the volunteer medical work with his wife and children. Chinese, uh, seeing the Chinese everywhere in the remote areas, helping these people improve the local infrastructure. And it's, it's helping Africa. You read the Western media about China and Africa and it's, oh, but you talk to Africans and they're very happy about what China is doing in Africa. China has also built things in Africa such as the industrial complex for factories and businesses. They're teaching them how to fish <laughs> so that they can lift themselves. So what are your expectations for the next decade of the Belt and Road Initiative? I think that the African countries and some other Asian countries will experience what China has. It's China built an infrastructure that was a very basic, pragmatic, simple plan, but that helped the entire country to blossom. Mm -hmm. And if Africa has something like that, I think it will blossom. The non-Western countries are increasingly seeing there's no future continuing on as, as being puppets of these Western countries that have not helped them in centuries. And there's more and more countries like this are saying, we want China's help because they're not getting it from anywhere else.